I'm a big fan of making my own stuff. Uh, the lowest cost uh, solution that I can come up with is uh, usually the one that that I like the best. Uh, I needed I do a lot of camping near the truck, so I don't have very far to uh, um, carry things out. You know, a long ways down the trail. It's not like I'm going miles, miles and miles down, down through the wilderness. Um, so there's a lot of things that I carry out to my favorite parking, parking camping spot, and uh, sometimes I actually leave it there, um, uh, hidden underneath of a tree, or uh, even buried in a real shallow spot. Uh, mainly just so that I can, I know that it'll stu still be there when I come back. I got a base from a, a large diesel engine uh, oil filter. It's got a heavy, real heavy ring on the bottom. And I welded some half inch uh, black pipe fittings, some union um, couples on the end in a 120 degrees apart in a tripod fat in a uh, tripod shape uh, what these do is you can take a piece this is a, a two foot um, half inch black pipe I put caps on each end of all the all the pipe sections one of them so that it's got a, a foot for to go onto the ground and the other one will keep it clean and free of bugs, dirt, water, general crap. Um, this tripod will fit together um, pretty simply just by screwing in sections. And then and then by adding a union to the bottom of the leg, you can extend uh, the height to whatever you uh, uh, you need it to. I have this one set at um, uh, I've got two foot sections and four foot sections, so the the top of the tripod will be six feet high. The legs will the actual height of of the head is going to be uh, about. Um, you lose about 10%, so this will end up being about 5 foot 6 or so um, on the ground. The um, made pieces out of half inch, um, half inch round stock. This is a piece of uh, road trash. It's part of a big truck uh, brake system, air brake system. Um, there's a the hole that's in the center of the oil filter cone. This piece will fit through, and uh, get you up here so you can see. This piece will fit through, and then the crooked piece will fit right into that cutout. No matter how hard you pull on that, it'll, it'll never pull through. What this does is it gives you a chance. Uh, you can hang your cauldron or your Dutch oven or your pot or whatever it is that you want to hang from there. Uh, what this will also do is if you get a piece of chain, you can hang through the center hole. You can hook it hook it on this and you can hook it through on top of here and then you can adjust this to up whatever height that you need it to. What I also got on here are these 90 degree couples. Being this is already threaded in here, you unthread your leg section. Thread your 90 degree in there. And 
and from there, you can either put your leg back on, and then you have the option of having tool stands that come out. With these, you can hang your uh, you can hang your tools on here. You can hang your uh, wet clothing. You can uh, use them to drape the whole stand with uh, fabric for uh, for smoking or for general cooking. Or you can take it you can take it loose and put it on further down in the leg. You could put the two you could put the two foot leg clear down at the bottom. Put the four four foot leg. Um, in place of this one, and then you'll have a, um, with this turned to the side, it'll level out, and then you'll have a place to put a, uh, um, some expanded metal for, for a cooking grate, or you could build a platform on here for smoking, or for grilling, or uh, to even set a, a, a flat coffee pot on top there. Uh, just for extra, um, just for extra versatility. I built a um, a trivet out of three eighths rebar, and I bent the bent the ends in a ninety um, into a ninety degree C, and then stuck a piece of uh, half inch round stock in the middle. Put sort of a point down here so that you could stick this into the ground. Um, the biggest, the biggest uh, idea was for a place to put your lid when you took it off your your Dutch oven, so that you don't have to sit your Dutch oven down into the dirt when you're uh, um, when you're cooking. Take the lid off. You need two hands to do stuff, so um, it just gives you an option, one more option. Or you could put this in the ground, and with your with your coal shovel. Um, you could bring you can bring coals in around for cooking on the ground. This is another tool that I made. Um, I've seen these being sold in catalogs for up to fifteen dollars. I made this out of uh, scrap iron that I had laying around. Uh, built one, bent one piece into a U shape. Made a hook onto the other. And what this allows you to do is to grab a hold. You can grab a hold of your lid. If you have coals on top of your lid, you can you can lift it and control it without dumping all the coals off to the side. And you can also grab your bale. To lift it up, lift it up, and, and control your pot. So, those are general ideas. I had the longer version of this posted, but uh, YouTube doesn't like me, so it got rejected because of length. So I'm redoing this, and uh, there's a lot of things that um, I'm abbreviating out of here. So. Uh, biggest biggest thing here is you can take by adding a chain and dropping it down you can adjust your cooking height um, to however close you need the pot to your uh, to your either your coals or your open flames um, and that should uh, that should pretty much cover this this is uh, um, none of this is considered light. Um, you're not likely to be picking this stuff up and taking it out on every backpacking trip. Um, so you're going to end up either taking it out and stashing it someplace, or you're going to uh, be be using it close enough that it's 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 not going to be a, a huge burden to to walk out and make 
a bunch of different trips because everything together on here you're dealing with um, close to 25 or 30 pounds and it's all iron so um, that's just um, I, I just assume that there's going to be times when you're going to want to set up a semi-permanent base camp and uh, you're going to want something that's more durable that you don't have to automatically just put a pack up and put in your canvas bag anyway this is my uh, this is my idea for today uh, we'll talk to you later bye